Now then, and good morning. So, uh, following on from yesterday's video, I've finished off all my artillery. So, at the front there, what you can see are the cavalry batteries. Um, I'll just bring them forward so you can see. <coughs> oh, God, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Hang on. See if I can brighten that slightly. Bring it to focus while you're. There we are. I think. I'll try not to knock the camera. So, the main difference between the the foot batteries and the, and what were known as cavalry batteries in the Austrian army, um, the crewmen all had um, red facings and cuffs in the uh, in the cavalry batteries, um, but the limber teams and stuff were all the same. And the reason we're called cavalry batteries and not horse artillery is because a lot of the crew actually still were on foot. Or they, they rode actually on the guns and on the limbers. And they actually had this, this special type of limber um, called the worst wagon uh, that they all sat on. It looks really uncomfortable. Um, so they were a bit slower than your, than your kind of traditional horse artillery as such. Um, but overall, they, they perform the same kind of function. So what, what we've got on all, each of these batteries is, um, I think it's a, a six pounder guns. And then a howitzer as well. So in Blucher, what this represents is actually three artillery batteries that have been merged together. Um, so as I mentioned in a previous video, you can actually attach an artillery battery, like a brigade battery or positional battery, to a, to a brigade. Um, but to actually represent the, the pure artillery, what I've done is just... Um, I've used all my gun models and limbers just to make these... these um, these massed batteries as such. Yep, so there's the uh, the cavalry batteries. So I've got three of those. Um, they're all pretty much the same. I'll just show you this one. Um, I actually put a, a gun hose, a casualty on that one as well. Um, but yeah, exactly the same pretty much. Cavalry batteries. And then just behind them there, what we've got... Oh, I do apologise, knocking the camera. Um, We've got the positional batteries, and the difference with these is, is that the the crew, some have got red facing, which were the actual professional gunners, and then you got some with the blue facing, which were called the hand langers or the helpers, uh, and these guys were untrained uh, or conscripted crew that helped just manhandle the guns and and do uh, all the heavy lifting kind of thing, whereas the the guys with red facings were more professional gunners and knew what they were doing. Um, so that's the main difference there, but overall the uh, the Austrian artillery was one of the more one of the more professional arms of the Austrian army, um, and is rated really quite highly. Um, so yeah, so there's a positional battery there, um, and I've got another positional battery, exactly the same as that one, just on the end there, and then what I've also made is a heavy positional battery, uh, and this one's got the big twelve pound guns. Um, you might be able to see they've got actually bigger cannons. Still got a howitzer on there as well. Um, I've got an officer leading them. Um, and in blue cut, they've just got a extra range, and obviously they've got the heavy artillery there. Special rules for them. Um, but yeah, that's all my artillery so far. So I've got these six um, cavalry bases, uh, not cavalry bases, what am I talking about? Artillery bases, which represents like 18 batteries of artillery uh, for my whole army. Um, let's try and bring that back into focus. I do apologise, I'm not the camera again. Too bright now. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all my artillery done. Um, next video, what I shall do is uh, get that entire army out uh, and do an army showcase so far for my Austrians and I'll give you a, a bit of rundown of what my plans are uh, for them in the future. Uh, I also need to start working on the French as well. Um, so thanks very much for watching um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.